Adding fractions with unlike denominators. Let's see how fraction boxes inside Kidspiration 3 can help us model adding fractions. Here's a story problem. Jack and Jill are buying chocolate. Jack bought 5 eighths of a pound and Jill bought 1 half of a pound. How much chocolate did they buy all together? Since this is a situation that calls for addition, let's write an expression. 5 eighths plus 1 half. And now we'll estimate. All together, will they have less than a pound? More than a pound? More than two pounds? Since 5 eighths is less than one whole, and 1 half is less than a whole, the answer must be less than two pounds. Now we'll bring out a fraction box to represent Jack's chocolate. If this is one whole pound of chocolate, I can show 5 eighths of a pound by dividing my whole into eight parts. And then I'll color five of those eighths. Five eighths. Now we'll show Jill's one half of a pound. One way to solve this problem is to think about making a whole. For example, four eighths can fit inside of one half. In other words, four eighths of Jack's pound can be combined with Jill's one half of a pound to make a whole pound. Altogether, they have one whole pound and one eighth of another pound, or one and one eighth. Remember our estimate? This is less than two pounds. Let's go back and take a look at a different way that we might solve this problem. Jack has five eighths and Jill has one half of a pound. Eighths and halves are not the same size. I can't just take my five eighths and my one half and come up with six of something. Those six parts are not the same size. We need to find a common denominator. In other words, we need to find equivalent fractions so that all of our parts are the same size. So we'll start by finding an equivalent fraction for one half. One half is not equivalent to thirds. The dotted line shows my half and the solid lines show thirds. So one half is more than one third but less than two thirds. One half of a pound is equivalent to two fourths of a pound. But Jack's and Jill's chocolate pieces are still not the same size. One half is also equivalent to three sixths, but again, Jack's portion is in eighths and Jill's portion is in sixths. We can't add those. Now I found my common denominator. One half is equivalent to four eighths, and now both Jack's and Jill's pieces are the same size. Everything is in terms of eighths. I can add eighths to other eighths. Altogether, I have five eighths plus four eighths, or nine eighths. I'll make one whole to get my answer of one and one eighth. We've modeled the process of finding a common denominator. Kidspiration 3 has five visual math tools to support conceptual understanding in math. You can download a 30-day free trial at inspiration.com.